everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle by Zeon Risk called Blocks with Benefits. I'll let you read into that one what you will. This is a puzzle with a couple of not standard constraints, and they're all working together. This is not a blind solve for me. I actually uh, did a recording of this puzzle a couple of days ago, and the recording went very awry. Um, and that was more technical than anything else. Um, so I'm having to record the puzzle again. So I have solved this puzzle before. Um, and one thing which Xeon actually warned me about, um, and I did find it while solving, was that because we are using um, a series of constraints that are not normal, um, so you'll see that when I explain the rules, you're not used to thinking about these Sudoku constraints in the way um, that we are with things that we're much more familiar with. So it's actually turns this puzzle into kind of a slow scanning exercise. So feel free, um, please try the puzzle on the link below, but it can be kind of a little tricky to sort of get your head around how this one works. Um, I do not believe this is a hard puzzle. It's just that it can be slow and kind of at times feel like you're not sure what to do. Um, I actually quite like this puzzle. Um, it, it, it was definitely something a little bit different. Before I get onto the puzzle, I do want to mention that um, we're very close to the end of March now, if uh, this all goes to plan. Um, I, as I said, I've had some technical issues. Um, so what I'm, uh, if it is still March when you see this, um, then remember to submit your March of the Quads answers. You don't need to have many. Um, people have been submitting in sections, the walks in the park, the scenic hikes, and the treks into the wilderness. You don't need to do that. Um, if you submit row three, as detailed below, um, of any of the puzzles, then um, you're in the running for this month's prize, which is a copy of the enthralling Sudoku PDF by Ashish Kumar. Um, I will be running the competition into April. So if you miss uh, March, you will be able to continue to submit March of the Quads answers into April. But let's look at this puzzle because this thing, it's a little daunting. Um, it's actually its actually not that horrible. It, it's just, as I said, it just takes some, you need to wrap your head around it. So let's have a look at the rules. So we start with normal Sudoku rules apply. So we've got in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Then we've got the cages in the grid, which is where all of this uh, the tricks happen. So cages are to contain one prime and one composite or non-prime digit. So a prime digit between one and nine, you've got the digits two, three, five, and seven. The composite digits are the... Uh, the non-prime digits, four, six, eight, and nine. I'm not going to get into the debate about whether one is prime or not prime. That's been going on for a very, very long time. Uh, in this puzzle, one is neither prime nor composite. So one will never appear in a cage in this puzzle. All cages in this puzzle will also contain either all friendly cells or all not friendly cells. So what is a friendly cell? This is a rule set that has been around for a while and I've seen it in quite a few other puzzles. Um, a friendly cell is a cell where the um, digit in the cell is equal to the number of the row, the column, or the box. So for example, um, this cell here, if this was a three, that would be a friendly cell because this is column three. It could also be friendly if this was a one because this is box one and it's also row one. So this cell here would be friendly if it was one or three, but this is only friendly with one or three because this is box one and row one. If I was to pick, let's uh, look at this one, the friendly numbers for this cell are two because of box two, three because of row three and five because of column five. So they're the friendly cells. Everything else is not friendly for that cell. So that's how friendly works. Again, it's another rule set that can take some wrapping your heads around. So you're playing with friendly, not friendly, and prime and composite. Um, the only other thing in effect is the difference between the two cells is given in the dot in the cell. Um, I've actually recolored the dots in this to be green um, to give a reminder that you're also playing with either friendly or not friendly because green is normally a color for friendly. That's not the way the puzzle came to me. I 
I like playing around with the puzzles and Xeon gave me permission. So they're the rules for this puzzle. Um, when I first solved this puzzle, I ended up sort of playing around and making a bit of a number table of what were the possible combinations with those with different differences, which were both had a, uh, a prime and a composite where the numbers were all friendly or not friendly. And it was a bit weird. Um, but we will see how I go this time. Um, hopefully it will be a faster solve this time. It took me a while last time. So let's give this a shot. Um, I don't actually remember where I started, but um, the the most obvious place to start for me seems to be a, uh, a cage with a six difference because it seems to be the most restricted because you can never put a four, five, or a six in a cage with a six difference because difference of, four, of six from four, five, or six would take you outside of the bounds of one or nine. So you've only got one, two, three, seven, eight, nine to play with. So if... This cell was a one, which would be friendly. This would be a seven, and this would not be friendly. So I could not put a one here. I'm actually going to put in the, the possibilities here. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. If this was a one, this would be a seven, and that is not friendly. And we would have friendly, not friendly, and that doesn't work. If this was two, that would not be friendly. Here you would have eight, which is not friendly. That works. If you had three here... That would be friendly for the column, and this would be nine, which is not friendly because this is neither row, column, or box. So this can't be three. Seven here is not friendly. This would be seven here would be six different, would be one. Oh, and you can never put one in a box because it's neither prime nor. Oh, hang on, 2, 8. 2, 8 is prime and composite, so that's fine. Um, so 7 here would go with 1. That doesn't work. 8 would go with 2. 8 is not friendly. 2 is friendly, so that doesn't work. 9 is not friendly. 9 would go with 3, which is not friendly. So that would work. 9 is composite. Three is prime, so they are the possibilities for that cell, those that cage. And this, uh, yeah, this is a little like whittling down the options, but it, yeah, this would be clearer if we saw more puzzles with rules like that. And I'm not sure if we should, but anyway, um, you'd be faster at this if you were more experienced at it, but we don't see a lot of puzzles with this sort of rule set. So I'm going to jump to the next six cage um, because, as I said, I feel these are the most restricted. Now, you can never use a one in the cage. So you're actually limited to two, three, and you can't use six different. So you're actually limited to two, three, eight, and nine. So, yeah, you're actually limited to two, three, eight, and nine. So in here, two would be friendly and six different would be eight. So that would work. So I'm going to just do one side and then populate. Two, eight works. Three would not be friendly. It would jump to nine, which would not be friendly. That works. Eight would be friendly. That would jump to two, which is not friendly because this is column three, box seven, row eight. But eight here is friendly because it's row eight. So that can't be eight. Nine would not be friendly because nine is here, here, and here. So nine would not be friendly, but three would be friendly. So this can't be nine. So I've got two, three, eight, nine here. And again, whittling down the options. These, these cages are way more restricted than you think they are. Okay. So... Um, having done the sixes, I want to now look at the fives. So five is a little less restricted, it feels. So let's have a look at what our options are. Again, you can't use a one. So I'm going to go two, three, four. You can't use a five because five different. So six, seven, eight, hang on. Um, I can use a nine. So there's a lot of options to start with here. Two would jump to seven. Now, two to seven, they're both prime so that doesn't work three would jump to eight three would jump to eight and that's okay 
because that's a prime and a composite, except for the fact that three would be friendly and eight wouldn't be. So that doesn't work. Four would jump to nine, both of which are composite. Six would jump to one, which doesn't work. Seven would jump to two. Seven and two are both prime. Eight would jump to three. So eight here is not friendly. Now, hang on. Eight would jump to three, which is fine. Eight is composite. Three is prime. I've actually got a list of the prime and composite numbers because if I was to do that in my head, my, I would slow work down. Eight would jump to three, which is fine. Eight is not friendly in this cell. Three is not friendly in the cell. So that would be okay. Nine would jump to four. And nine and four are both composite. So this has to be eight and three. That eight looks down seeing that nine. Nine made that a three. The nine looks up making that a two. Six different from two is eight. And I've actually got six digits in the grid. So that is not a bad start at all. Now, do I want to jump to this four cage? Well, this three cage is looking more tempting because it actually sees, well, that sees three digits, that sees two digits, but this feels more restricted. I'm going to look at this four cage. So I can never use one. I'm going to actually on one side, put in all of the options. It can be two, can't be three, four, five, six, seven, can't, or eight. So there's actually a lot of options, but I think I can get rid of them pretty quick. So two would jump to six. Two would not be friendly. Six would not be friendly. Two is prime. Six is composite. So we're okay. Four would jump to eight, both of which are composite. Five can't jump to one because that doesn't work. Five would therefore jump to nine. Five is not friendly, but friend nine is friendly. So five doesn't work. Six would jump, can't jump up because 10 doesn't work. So it would jump down to two. Six is composite and two is prime. And they would both not be friendly. So that would work. Seven would jump down to three, which doesn't work because of the three in the row. And eight would jump down to four. Eight would be friendly, four would not be. So this is actually a two, six pair. Okay. And I'm sorry to say this, Zeon. This puzzle really does feel like you're just whittling away at options and kind of a, a scanning uh, a puzzle. Doesn't mean it's not a puzzle. It's just different to what we normally do. And I kind of like the fact that it's different, um, but it is different. Okay. Where do we go next? Um, I was wanting to look at this, so let's do that. And again, I'm going to just put all of the options into one cell and then whittle down those options. So in this cage is the actual more limited because it sees four digits and I can never put in a one. So four, five, six, seven, because I can't use one and I can't use two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine. So I start with only four options in this cell. Um, so four would jump to one, which doesn't work, or jump up to seven. So if it jumps up to seven, then four and seven are composite and prime. Four would not be friendly. Seven would not be friendly. That would work. Five could jump down to two. And this is the thing I've got to be very careful about now. I'm going in two directions. Five down to two doesn't work. Five up to eight doesn't work. It can't be five. Six down to three. Now six and three are composite and prime. Six is not friendly. Three is friendly though, so I can't go down. Six up to nine doesn't work because there's already a nine. Seven can't go up. So seven would have to go down to four. And seven would be friendly and four would be friendly. So this is a four seven pair. I'm getting pairs everywhere. So that 4-7 pair means that this cell is now even more restricted because I can't use 1, 
two, can use three, can't use four, five, six, and I can't use seven, eight, or nine. So I'm now down to three options in this cage. So three can't go down. If three went up, it'd be six. Three and six are prime and composite. Three would be friendly, six would not be, this cannot be three. If this was five, it can't go down to two because there's a two in the box. If it went up, it would go up to eight. Five would not be friendly. Eight would not be friendly. That would work. Five is prime. Eight is composite. That works. Um, if this was a six and it went down, it would be six, three, which does not work. If it went up, it would be six, nine. Six and nine are both composite. I can't use six. This is five. This is eight. And I feel like I'm running out of really cool pointing options. So I'm going to jump to this four cage, maybe? Maybe that? I really don't know where to look next. I am going to pencil mark these, I think. So those are one, three, four, five, six. Now, this one can't be three. But that's all I've got. And that's just because they were the only three left in the column. I was hoping to get a better elimination, but I can kind of not surprised I didn't. Not sure where to look next. I think it's this four cage because... Yeah, I think I'm going to look at that four cage. Because I've kind of... Maybe that cell. One of the things we know about a cell with a one difference is this will be an odd and an even number, but I don't know the order. And I've only got four digits, well, five digits removed from there. But I do have five digits removed. Let's look here. I can't use one, two, three, four, five. I can't use six. So it's four, five, seven, or eight. So if this is four, this is five. And that's fine for prime and composite. And the reason, yeah, four, five, none of which are friendly, so that would work. If this is five, this would be five, four, or five. Oh, this would be four or six, all of which is good. If this is seven, this could be six or eight. Oh, this is not going well. And if this is eight... Hang on, no, if this is seven, that can't be six, but the five gets six. But seven, hang on, can that be seven at all? That can't be seven. Because if this is, let me take the eight out. Now the five gets me to six, that's okay. But the seven is friendly. And the seven would have to go with six, which is not friendly, or eight, which is not friendly. This can't be seven. If this is eight, it's friendly. And it could go with seven but it can't go with nine. Yeah, that did not get me very far. I don't think that was the place to look. I'm going to jump back up to this four cage. Um, so I'm just going to put all the options into one of the cells. So again, this is a lot of pencil marking. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. And I'm aware that's a lot of pencil marking. Two has to go up to four. Two to four is prime and composite. Two would be friendly, four would not be friendly, two is not an option. No, four different. What am I talking about? Four different. Uh, mm, two would go up to six. Two would be friendly, six would be friendly, two six is an option. Three would go up to seven. Three is not friendly, seven is not friendly, but three and seven are both prime, so that doesn't work. Hang on, two and six. Two and six are prime and composite, that's fine. Four would go up to eight. Four and eight are both composite, that doesn't work. Five can't go down to one because you can't use one. Five would have to go up to nine. Five and nine are prime and composite. Five would not be friendly, nine would not be friendly. Five, nine is an option. Six can't go up, so we're starting to go down now. Now we know six and two are fine for prime composite. Six would not be friendly, two would be friendly, can't use six. 
7 would go down to 3. 7 and 3 are both prime. 9 and 5 we know are good. Nine and five we know are good. Hang on, how do I have five nine here? Because this is row column five. So if I've got five here going up to nine, this isn't friendly or not. This can't be five. If this is nine, however, so this hang on, this is not nine. But if this is nine, yeah, that five nine was a mistake because I forgot the column. Column five is friendly by the column. If this is Nine, however, this goes down to five, not friendly, not friendly, nine, five is possible. Pretty certain that's correct. Uh, this is a real puzzle. You've got to sit and just figure out what your options are. It's kind of a bit more like a jigsaw. You've got to find the right piece. Um... Where to look now? These threes each have, like that cell and that cell, each have two options missing from them. That one, however, is a little bit like that one. And that one was not very fruitful. I might start here. Oh, that, that actually looks interesting, though, because these threes have one cell that's limited and one that's not, whereas this two, both cells are limited. So maybe that's the way to go. I'm actually going to look at this two. So all the options I've got here are three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Again, lots of options, horrible pencil marking. I'm sure Simon from Cracking the Cryptic would hate me. Probably does already. Um, I don't know. He doesn't seem like a guy who hates people. Anyway, three would, can't go down to one. Three would go to five. Three and five are both prime. Three can disappear. Four can't go down to two because I can't do that. Four would go up to six. Four and six are both composite. That disappears. Five could go down to three, but five and three are both prime. Five going up to seven are both prime prime that doesn't work six going down to four now six and four are both composite six going up to eight is both composite wow seven going down to five both prime seven going up to nine that works so seven could go up to nine except this would be friendly and this wouldn't be friendly that's a nine which means that's a seven that's forced didn't see that one coming. That is, I will say it, that was bonkers. That was out of the blue. Now that's put more restriction on that cell because that's removed the nine from it. So now I, oh, yeah, and that one as well. I'm actually, actually this one has now got four options removed from it. So I'm going to jump here. So this can be two, three, four, or six only because you can never use one, you can use two, three, four, C's five, six, and it sees seven, eight, and nine. So I'm gonna try that option. Two can only go up to five, but two and five are prime, so that doesn't work. Three can only go up to six. Three and six matches for prime and composite, and they are friendly. So three in the row, six in the box, that works. Four, would jump up to seven, uh, down to one doesn't work because you can't use one, up to seven. So four, seven. Four would not be friendly. Seven would be friendly, however, because this is column seven. So I can't use four. And if this is six, jumping down to three, it would be, well, I can't jump up. So six, so because there's no nine, so I am just looking it down. So six down to three, not friendly. There's no six friendly six here, and there's no friendly three here. So this is a three six pair, which puts more restriction on this. So this can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, seven, eight is all I've got here now. 
which is more restriction on this. I'm just trying to follow the path. Um, four down to one doesn't work. Four up to seven. So four, seven is composite and prime. Four is not friendly here. Seven is not friendly here. That does look possible to me. Um, five down to two. So five and two are both prime. Five up to eight, however. Five and eight do work, but five is not friendly and eight would be. This is not five. Seven is friendly, can't go up, so it'd have to go down to four, but this is not friendly on four. This is not column four, row four, or box four. So this is not seven. Eight can only go down to five. Eight is, hang on, eight and five, that works for prime composite. Eight is not friendly, five is not friendly. So five, seven, and four, eight are the only options I've got here. Mm. And now I'm getting down to these ones and I'm feeling a bit stuck. Sorry, I'm trying to look and see if there's anything jumping out as to where to start. Because these ones don't seem as restricted. Have I missed any Sudoku anywhere? Like I can see eight has to go in here, but this could be any difference. So eight could go with almost anything. Eight has to go in one of those two cells because I can't put it here. I've seemed to have eliminated it. I'm not, mm, I think I need to find more cages. Which one? I'm going to look at that cell. So I can't use one, two, three. I can use four, five. I can't use six. Sorry. I, yeah, I can't use six. So seven or eight. And I can't use nine. So four, five, seven, eight. This is possibly the most boring video I've ever done. I'm sorry about that. I think the puzzle is cool. <laughs> um, four would be with three. Four and three does work. Four would not be friendly. Three would not be friendly. Four going up to five. Um, four going up to five. Four going up to five. Four going up to five works for prime co composite. Um, some puzzles have called them co-prime, and I keep wanting to say co-prime, and I, I don't know the correct term. Four going up to five. Five would be friendly, four would not be, so that doesn't work, but I do have four, three. Five would be friendly, four would not be friendly, six would not be friendly. Because this is neat. This is seven, five, and eight, so I can't use five here. Seven here, if seven, six would work for prime and composite. Seven would not be friendly. Six would not be friendly. So that's okay. Seven, eight. Seven would not be friendly, but eight would be. So that doesn't work. Now, eight would go with seven. And eight would be friendly and seven would be friendly. So that's okay. And eight, nine doesn't work. So they're the only options. That's not the cage I needed to look at. That was not the cage I'm looking for. Um, maybe this one. So again, two, four, five, six, seven, nine. That's a lot of options. Except I'll put it in one side and then work on the other. Two can't go with one, so it, it'd be two, three. Two, three, uh, yeah, you can never use two, okay because two can't go with one and two and three are both prime. So you can never use two in a one cage. That might be useful. Uh, why did I, oh, it can't use a three anyway. So four 
to five doesn't work. Four to three doesn't work because I can't use a three. Four to five doesn't work because four wouldn't be friendly and five would be. So I can remove five. Five would be friendly. Um, five, four wouldn't work because of the friendly problem. Five, six would work. Yeah, five, six does work. Six, five works. Six, seven doesn't because they're not... I'm starting to get confused. Yeah, six, seven doesn't work because six would be friendly and seven wouldn't be. So, but six, five does. Seven would go to six, except seven... Oh, no, I can't put seven there. I missed that. So forget seven. Nine would go to eight and that doesn't work. So this is a five, six pair, which means I know what that is. That's a three. That's a six, which takes three out of there, giving me a one, six pair, making that a three. Okay, some Sudoku. Come on, more Sudoku. More Sudoku. Three, six. We've got the sixes lining up. Three. I'm not seeing it. Maybe I need to continue to play with these cages. Now, this cage is actually now, I think, a little more limited because I can't use a six in it. And I found out I couldn't use a two in it because I can't use two and three because they're both prime. So I've got three, four, five, can't use six, can't use seven or eight or nine. So can I eliminate eight, nine, I suppose is the question. Because if I can eliminate eight, nine, then I know there's a four in this cage. So let's start with trying to eliminate eight, nine. If this is eight, it's not friendly. Nine would be friendly. So this can't be eight. If this is nine, hang on, nine and eight are both composite. I can't use eight or nine. So this is three, four, five. There's a four in here. Now, if this is the four that is not friendly, this would be, hang on. Yeah, so four is composite, three and five are prime. So it could go either way. If this is, And four, three, four, and five are not friendly in either of these because these are six, eight, and nine, and seven, and six. And yeah, none, nothing is friendly here. So three, four, five here, and I can't really tell which. Except that can't be a three. Okay. But this still could be four, five. Oh, no, hang on, that can't be five either. That's four. What was I even looking at? So this is three or five. That's a four, which makes that a seven and that a four. Which takes four out of those. Now, four here... Five, that means this can't be a five because there's nothing, there's no five here now. So five with six or eight with seven. Now five with six, that was an option, wasn't it? Five, six is, yeah, five, six or eight with seven. Yes, because row eight, yeah, that's fine. Oh, where am I looking? <laughs> oh, the comments on this video are going to be absolutely... Oh, they're going to be bad. I'm sorry. Um, This cell, maybe. So, two, four... Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Two, four, seven, and nine. So, we know we can't put two in there. So, this is four, seven, or nine. 
Four can't go with three, four could go with five, four and five are prime and composite, five would be friendly, four would not be, because this is neither row column, so I can't use four and five. Seven here with, would not be, seven, six would work, except six would be friendly and seven isn't. Seven, eight, Seven would not be friendly. Eight would not be friendly. That would work. Nine would, but nine would have to go with eight. Whichever way this goes, that's an eight. And this is a not friendly seven or not, but eight can't go with nine because they're both composite. This is a seven. This is a five. That was the box I needed to look at. Three different from five is eight. This is a six. Four different from six is two. Puts two in one of those, which puts two in one of those because of the lining up twos. Desperately looking for Sudoku. Six is in one of those. Eight is in one of those. Eight is in one of those. Desperately seeking Sudoku. Three is right there because of those threes. Uh, anything else on threes? Three. Not sure. These cages with any difference kind of feel scary. I've definitely come at this a different way to when I solved it last time. I've done the cages in a completely different order. It feels more efficient than last time. I think I want to mark this cell because it can't be one, can't be two, can't be three, could be four, could be five, can't be six, can't be seven, can't be eight, or it can't be nine. So this can only be four or five. But it could be any difference. So, uh, so what can this be though? So, can't be one, can't be two, can't be three, can't be four, could be five, can't be six, can't be seven, could be eight, can't be nine. So that's only four, five, and that's only five, eight, and that's just by Sudoku. Now, four is composite. So four could only go with five. But f and five could only go with eight. Four could only go with five. Five could only go with eight. I don't think that's the place to look. Unless I've missed something. Four could only go with five. Five could only go with eight. Four with five is fine. Five with eight. Oh, five with eight doesn't work because five, eight would be friendly because this is column eight and five isn't. This is four, five, which means this is eight. Forgot the friendly rule, which means this is eight. That five makes this six and this five. The six makes this two and this six. Now... That makes this three, which takes three out of here, which makes four out of there. This is now, oh, that two looks up, making that two. These are now one and three, which means that's the one and that's the three because of the three down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a nine. Uh, am I going to mark these quads? Everyone who knows me knows the answer to this question is probably yes. One, two, seven, nine. There is no two in those. Uh, 
There is no nine in those. There's no seven there. Actually, there's no seven in any of those. That's a seven. That's a nine. This is a one, two pair. So these are one, two, three, four, five, and seven. So this is a five, seven. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, one and four. So that's a one and that's a four, which has not done a lot of damage. But do one want to look at this cage? Maybe. I might do some more Sudoku first. So these are one, seven, and nine. Yeah, that was unhelpful. One, two, four, and nine. So one, four, nine in there. Those can be any of them. Okay, maybe I do look here. Hang on, this is a five, seven, eight triple. So I'm missing one and four here. So this is way more limited because of the one, four pair. So what is this? Two, three, can't be four, can't be five, six, hang on, can't be six or seven. So it's two, three or nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three or nine. It can't be three either. So it's two or nine. So two is prime and five or seven is prime. This can't be two. This is nine. And nine does work with five or seven. Nine is not friendly. Seven would be friendly. This has to be five. This is seven. This is eight. Eight is one different from seven. Eight makes this five, which is one different from six, which makes this one, which makes this six. This is hard to find discoveries in, but when you do, they are very rewarding. Um, this now has to be the eight because of the eight up there. These are now two and seven, which are resolved by the seven in row seven. These are two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, two and three, which are resolved by the three in box five. This now has to just flat out be a six. I'm going to pencil mark that. That's a quad. It just happens to have a cage in it. One, two, five, and six. Now that's not two. That's not two. That's not two. So that is a two. That's a one. So this is one, five, and six. Any more eliminations? There's no six there. There's no six there. So this is the six. Six is composite. And you can never put one in a cage. So that's just resolved. And I think I've now got all the cages done. So now I'm just down to Sudoku. Whether that's cause for celebration or suffering, I do not know. Um, so there's no one there. So this column is missing... Oh, there's a seven there, so that's a nine. So this column is now missing one, two, three, four, five. And that five there tells me the order. So this box is missing two and nine. There's no four. Oh, that one makes that the nine, which makes that the two and that the nine. This box is now missing one, two, and four, I think. There's no two. This is the two because of the twos in the columns. Um, and the one and four do not seem to be giving up just yet, but that's okay. Um, let's look at this column. So these are one, four, and seven. There's no seven at the top. There's no one at the bottom. Okay. 
So across the top, one, four, and five. There's no five there, so this is the five. I've now got another one, four pair, which tells me what this is. One, two, this has to be a three. Oh, I've got to break a pattern here. So these, four, seven, and nine. So that's not nine. So this is nine. That seven is making that a four, which is making that a one, which is making that a seven, which is making that a one, which is making that a four, which is making that a seven. The one is looking down, making that a four, which is making that a one, which is making that a four, which is making that a one. And that is blocks with benefits. That feels like me on the dating scene. That was a struggle. Um, but unlike me on the dating scene, got there in the end. Um, that was... The reason I feel this puzzle feels so tr so much of a struggle is because working with friendly, you know, having to combine friendly cells and working with prime and co-prime, those are things that we're just not used to doing in Sudoku puzzles. It doesn't mean they're bad rules. It just means we're not used to them and that slows us down. I really enjoy this puzzle. Um, I hope you did too. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Xeon, for submitting this puzzle. I I, I do like it, um, and I I like friendly cell puzzles. I think I'm going to explore some. I, I, I want to do more with that constraint. Again, as I said, thank you everyone for watching, and whether you needed it with this puzzle or not, good luck with your solving.